Hello there, this is LEGO Dynasty, and today I'll be reviewing the LEGO Ideas Sailboat Adventure set. It is set number 40487, comes with 330 pieces, and is rated 12 and up. This set was a gift of purchase for uh, purchases on August 1st, and uh, I believe until supplies last, or August 12th, or something along those lines, and is no longer available. It was never available for purchase, but if I had to guess, this set would have retailed in the United States for $29.99 and in Canada for about $39.99. Now, I believe uh, the gift of purchase was only applicable for purchases over $200 in Canada, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, this set features two minifigures and uh, two dolphin uh, figures along with the buildable sailboat. So let's get into the set and we're going to start off looking at the box. So you can see the box has some very nice detail. You got the seagulls flying around. Some very nice, overall very nice, uh, nice water detail showing the dolphin figures. Some nice side box art. And then of course the ideas kind of idea, like how it is organized very nicely. And nothing on that side, but overall, just uh, Lego ideas, very nice box. Now it does feature two minifigures. So first you have the male, who looks very good. He's got the life jacket on, uh, got some binoculars. No double-sided head or leg printing or arm printing, which of course you wouldn't expect in a set like this. Let's take off his life vest. And you can see what is underneath. Let's put the life vest back on and his hairpiece. And that is the male sailor. Next, we have the female sailor as I try and get it to focus. And same thing, no arm printing. Looks like she is uh, sleeveless, no leg printing. Got some similar back printing. And just showing without the life vest. I don't think those are unique prints. I believe I've seen them before. But still, overall, Pretty nice figures in this set. The dolphins, I'll just show the whole build itself together. He has some crystals meant to, I guess, evoke waves splashing up. You know, the glass meant to be, you know, the wave foam and then some water at the top is what I'm guessing they were going for. Very cool. You get two of them, which is nice, you know. <laughs> they probably normally would have only thrown in one, but they threw in two, which I think aids uh, the set. We have the sailboat, which has a lot of very nice detail. It's called the Eloise, uh, or Eloise, is my guess. Got some nice detail, the little life raft there. You can kind of see the sail, which I'll get all fixed. Sorry about that. And this is the only part that really breaks off a lot in my mind. It just can easily pop off. Still in very nice detail. Kind of see on the back. Got this part that you can pretend they're controlling uh, this. And you can also, of course, have them move it as you see fit. Generally, I'll just leave it on. But you could put it in the minifigure's hands and pretend they're moving it. You can kind of see the design they used. A bit of Technic to represent the sail, and overall, it's a very unique design. I don't think I've seen one like this, and I, I really, really like it. You know, it's it's only one block thick, so you, it can be broken if you're not too careful, but overall, I really like what they did. Although there's not a whole lot to it, you can't really fit any figures inside. I believe that's supposed to represent the crew, the like a uh, cabin, but you can't really fit the figure inside. Even if you take off his vest, he won't fit. And of course, same goes for the female figure. They just won't fit. Now, of course, they weren't going for accuracy in that aspect. But overall, I must say this is a very awesome promo. And if they ended up having extras somehow and brought this back again, I wouldn't be against it. 
So of course, being an idea set, this was obviously really suggested by a Lego fan or Lego designer or fan designer who submitted on the Lego Ideas website and similar to other uh, idea sets that have become promos, it just was deemed uh, a good set but just not good enough to be sold, I guess. I guess that sounds kind of harsh, but in general, you know, Lego kind of evaluates. And I, I really like when they repurpose these idea set. You know, I wish instead of them always canceling these 10,000 vote sets, if they would do some of these as like promos. Now, a lot of the ones that do reach 10,000 uh, votes are typically larger in scale. So I, I understand why they don't do it with all sets, but I do like that they've been doing these with these type of vehicles. And I hope th to see that continue. Now, there's really not a whole lot to the set. Obviously, like I said, uh, you can buy it from resellers, but overall you can't buy it in stores. And the promo has finished way back in August. So, but I just decided, you know, I, I finally built the set and wanted to give my thoughts on it. And I must say, I really like it. If you have managed to get it, I think you should consider yourself lucky. And if you're interested, definitely check and see if you can find it online through Marketplace, through Bricklink or whatever. But, uh, I wouldn't pay an exorbitant amount for this set. Like I said, I, I predicted this set would probably cost about $29.99 in the United States and $39.99 in Canada, and I would do my best to not pay much more than that. With that being said, that is my opinion, so let me know down below what your thoughts are. If you managed to pick up this set uh, as a promo when it was in stores, or if you ended up buying it after the fact. Let me know down below. Uh, please follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. And have a great day, everyone.